friends of YouTube. Had a few of these old Makita toolboxes sitting around in the garage for a while and I recently was going through my old electronics when I realised that this lovely Makita colour somewhat matches this old motherboard. And that got me thinking, so why not build a computer into the case? So I went through my old parts and um, had a look at what else we had that might match, might work for the project. So, I pulled the backboard out of an old case. That'll work for holding our motherboard in place. A lovely old original Mac Pro power cable that has the same sort of color profile as our case and our motherboard. A power supply, a Wi-Fi card, CPU cooler, SATA cable, light up blue fan, and this little 13 inch HDMI screen um, that runs off 12 volt should be able to power it off the power supply. So I thought, well, with that and an SSD, we should be pretty much good to go. So let's throw together the Makita pewter. So step one of this project is gonna be uh, removal of a whole bunch of these dividers out so we can start mounting the components. I'm gonna keep these little front pockets. They're kind of handy dandy for putting accessories in it. How the cable won't always be attached. We've got the mouse. Didn't show you the mouse, we've got a mouse. And then a screen will bolt through that and that should take care of it. So head out to the garage and we'll start cutting this thing up.
So the Makita pewter is done, um, what am I going to use this for? Uh, probably absolutely nothing, it'll probably never see the light of day or get opened or turned on or anything, um, but sometimes that's just how projects go, right? Uh, this was a frankly dumb idea that I had almost a year ago and the parts have sat around since then. Um, and I think I owed it to myself to finish this project if nothing else. Um, so at least it's done, at least I can stop thinking about it. Um, the parts have been used, the Makita tool cases got uh, put to good use. Um, and what the hell I'm going to do with Kali Linux um, on a second gen i5 uh, in a toolbox that's portable but has no battery. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not a strong use case for a device like this, but I've done it. Um, and there we go. If you like this kind of uh, garbage content, then uh, give me a shout and let me know. If you hate it, let me know as well, um, and I'll keep doing it. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, and regardless of your response, I will continue to make useless junk like this and document it. So I appreciate you taking the time and I'll catch you on the next ridiculous project.